Hello, welcome back to Commerce Easy Notes. Today we are going to discuss on Process Costing Part 2. Here we will be discussing about normal process loss and abnormal process loss. And loss is those unavoidable losses in process account which arises due to inherent nature of production process. The normal loss can be estimated in advance on the basis of past experience. It is usually expressed as a percentage of quantity put into the process. The normal loss has no value as it is borne by good units of production. The quantity of input is less than the quantity of normal loss. It is termed as normal output. In the absence of scrap value, the process account is credited with quantity of normal loss only if there is scrap value. If only there is scrap value, we will credit it with the value in the amount column. The cost per unit is equal to total process cost minus the scrap value of normal loss divided by normal output. In case no, there is no scrap value for the normal loss, the, here the scrap value of normal loss will be zero so the formula will be total pro process cost divided by normal loss. now we'll see a question related to normal loss accounting a product passes through different processes to completion thousand units are introduced to process one at a cost of rupees 30 per unit the direct labor and direct expenses for the process were rupees 10,000 and rupees 5,000 respectively. Overhead expenses amount to rupees 3,000. It is estimated that 10% of the material introduced to the process would be lost normally. Actual production was 900 units. Unit lost realized a scrap of rupees 8 per unit. Prepare process 1 account and normal loss account. This is the question. Now, product passes to different processes that we have seen in the previous video. Maybe one or two or three process may be included. In that, firstly, we have to deal here only with process 1 and the normal loss account. The introduced units were 1000 units at a cost of rupees 30 per unit. And direct labor, direct expenses are directly given, and overhead also 3000. And it is estimated that 10 percentage of material introduced to the process were normally lost. Therefore, 10 percentage of 1000 is the normal loss unit. So the actual production amounts to this 10 percentage is 100, 1000 minus 100, 900 unit. The unit lost were realized for rupees 8. Therefore, this 100 into 8 is the scrap value. So, we are asked to prepare process 1 account. We'll see how the process 1 account looks. Process 1 account, it is two sides, debit and credit. You are two columns for units, one for units and then total. So, the beginning to unit introduced 1000 units that is for, for 30 rupees per unit therefore 1000 into 30 30000 to direct labor 10000 to direct expenses 5000 and to overhead be 3000 and the normal loss was set 10 percentage therefore 100 8 rupees is the value therefore 100 into 8 800 this is what normal loss so, the rest will be transferred to process 2 account. The balance will be written out to process 2 account. It is said that actual production amounts to 900. That is 1000 minus 100, 900. And that is directly given in the question 900. Therefore, units will be 900. And the balancing figure, the total of the debit side amounts to 48,000. And normal loss is 800. So, 48,000 minus 800 is 47,200. So, process 2 account cost is 47,200. So, per unit would be 47,200 divided by 900, 52.44 per unit. 
this is how we record process one account here the normal loss is credit so the journal entry will be normal loss account debited to process one account one account is credited so we write by normal loss and credit side now we'll see how the normal loss account looks normal loss account likewise debit and credit side is there particulars and you write the we set at a normal loss account debit to two process account two process one account with unit 100 and 800 we have said that there is a scrap value therefore we is we are adjusting it with by cash scrap value of rupees 8 per unit 100 units 8 and we are closing the normal loss account so this is how abnormal process loss the loss is caused by abnormal conditions are termed as abnormal process loss. That any loss is over and above the normal loss is called abnormal loss. A abnormal loss may be caused by substandard materials or plant breakdowns or careless accidents. Any loss over and above the normal loss is termed as abnormal loss. The abnormal loss is equal to actual loss minus normal loss. It is normal output minus actual output. So this is how the abnormal loss is calculated. Now it is concerned with unit. Here abnormal loss formula firstly we have said with units. In case of value, value of abnormal loss is calculated. Process cost minus scrap value of normal loss into unit of abnormal loss divided by normal output so process cost the total process cost minus scrap value divided by normal output gives you per unit value of abnormal loss that is multiplied with unit of abnormal loss give you the value total value of abnormal loss we'll see abnormal process loss in detail with an example before that we have to undergo certain journal entries that is abnormal loss when arises it is debited to process account abnormal loss account debited to process account and if case of in case of any abnormal loss unit have scrap value credited to abnormal loss cash account is debited to abnormal loss account and the balance of abnormal loss account is transferred to costing profit and loss account costing profit and loss account debited to abnormal loss account these are the important journal entry related to abnormal process loss now the question both with the process account with normal loss and abnormal loss the question is thousand units of raw material were introduced to process one at rupees 20 per unit direct labor and other expenses were rupees thousand is five thousand and rupees three thousand respectively it is estimated that 10 percentage of units introduced to the process are normally lost which has a scrap value of rupees 10 per unit and the actual output of the process are normally lost which has a scrap value of rupees 10 per unit and the actual output of the process was rupees 8 50 units to be transferred to process 2. You are asked to prepare process 1 account, normal loss account and abnormal loss account. Here we have 1000 units of raw material introduced with rupees 20 per unit. Direct labor and uh, expenses are given 5000 and 3000. It is estimated 10 percentage units are normally lost with scrap value. See how the process account is prepared process one account two sides debit and credit with particulars unit column and total column direct material is given thousand unit at rupees 20 total is 20,000 to direct labor directly given the question 5,000 and overhead 3,000 and normal loss is given 10 percentage for 10 percentage of thousand is 100 and scrap value is rupees 10. Abnormal uh, loss 
cannot be found out without writing out the process by process two account should be noted first. It is given in the question at 850 is the actual output therefore 850 and the cost is rupees 30. Therefore, 850 into 30, 25,000. Uh, if you have written down directly, all the expenses are from debited and by normal loss also given 100,000. Because all the expenses are debited and by uh, normal loss is also credited. Now, after that, we have to see whether process account. Process account actual output is 840 and the value, value cannot be sorted here. And you, we know the process from the question we have actual process is 850 but we don't know the value value of process to account should be calculated and abnormal value should also be calculated from the write the units balance that is thousand minus 100 and 50 50 likewise we get the abnormal loss now, for finding of the value of abnormal loss, we need to go for the working note. Did 100 and 1000, it is closed with the by cash account, that is on the sale of score up. Now, this is 10%, therefore, 100 is subtracted 900, and actual output is given in the question that it is transferred to the next process is 850. Therefore, abnormal loss amount to 50 abnormal loss account we are adjusting it to process account 50,500 by cash scrap value will be obtained therefore 50 is a abnormal loss into 10 500 and the bank transfer to costing p under account 1000 therefore abnormal loss account is closed so this working note is very important we have to obtain the value of abnormal loss from this formula and similarly the next process value here the formula is total cost minus scrap value of normal loss divided by normal output that will be the per unit amount and that is uh, multiplied with unit in case of normal abnormal loss into no, unit of abnormal loss and in case of the next process that actual output transferred this is how we conduct normal loss and abnormal loss account thank you for watching